but I am hey guys to, to get this look through. please continue to and watch I and I hope you enjoy have to and be sure to give so, the video a thumbs up hey guys so I'm not really sure exactly what makeup look I'm going to do today but I am going to do a talk through and I guess I'm gonna just have to wing it so I guess we'll just get started so first I'm gonna start off with the makeup forever step one and this is a hydrating primer which I absolutely need because my skin is really dry right now Peter Roth, and this is a pore putty. It says it's flawless, matte finish, blurs and fills in, reduces the look of pores and wrinkles. Pretty much right here. This is my absolute favorite foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD Stick. I'm going to just apply this on my... Breakouts there because I am allergic to dairy and somehow dairy always ends up in my food or I'm just bad it's really hard to not eat dairy this brush is awesome by the way I'm just really liking this one because it's really soft and the the brush itself is bigger so it gets a bigger area I'm gonna go in with the it cosmetics this is the CC plus I color correcting full coverage cream it's anti-aging and so now I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and I'm going to just pat that you want to make sure you're just patting up and down you don't want to smear this so now I'm actually going to do my brows and I promise you that noise you keep hearing is the chair. I'm not farting. <laughs> now, when I get to the arch, I brush down because then you can see where your natural arch would actually be. Okay, so now I'm going back in with that same concealer I was just using, and then I'm gonna go in with a flat, synthetic, angled brush. And then I'm going to just line right under my brows. So after that, I just take the damp beauty blender and I pat it to make sure it just gets blended. So now I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and I'm starting to show signs of fine lines around my eyes. So hydrating is very good for me. So now I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm using the Tarte CC Colored Clay Primer. So I like to take my finger and actually do this instead of using the, the Beauty Blender. So now I'm going to take the Morphe M43 brush. Take This is from the NYX Contour Palette. I did take out, take it out from the rest of the palette because this I use the most. So you're gonna put some on there and you're gonna kinda do that to get off the excess. And then you're going to actually, kind of like you do with the Beauty Blender, go up and down. Don't actually do this. You can do that once, like later, once it's completely dry. But you don't want to do that until then. So now I'm going to take one of these big fluffy brushes. This is the IT Cosmetics 108. And I'm going in with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face so that when we go in with contour next, 
everything goes on and blends very softly. Contour or even blush on before putting powder on your face. You can see that it looks kind of like splotchy and like muddy and it's just really hard to blend. So now I'm going in with the Morphe M527 brush. I'm going in with this color called Shadow Play from the Kat Von D palette. And then right here. And then when there's a little less on it, after I've done this harsher line, I'm going to blend it up into my hairline. And then I'm also going to get right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to use this peach color right here called Lucid on the Kat Von D palette. And then I'm going to just place this all over my, my lid and in the crease and a little above the crease. And you can never blend too much. You just seriously wanna keep blending. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna do the same thing. This is literally going in the exact same place. And this is just a little darker. So now I'm gonna go in with Cocoa Bear. It's this one right here. And I'm using the Morphe M321 brush. And I'm going to just place it on the outer corner of my eye and a little bit onto my lash. And now I'm gonna blend it. And I didn't dip this into the color. This just has the other color, the lighter color. So now I'm gonna go in with Showtime. And then I'm gonna take that color and I'm going to place it right here in the corner and then bring it onto my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to take, actually I'm gonna do this with nothing on it first. And I'm just gonna soften it and blend it out because there's kind of a harsh line. So now, going to take Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek, which is this one, and I'm going to highlight the inner corner. And then kind of bring it up on here to blend it. So now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M501 brush. And I'm going to actually go in with Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to line my lower lashes. This brush. And I'm going to just blend it out to soften it. And then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and go back in with Showtime, which is the color that's all over my lid. go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is the Cottage Cheese. It kind of has an iridescence to it and I'm going to line my waterline. This is going to help to open your eyes up and just make them pop. Especially if you have any red in your eyes and I have a lot of red in my eyes because I have very dry eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with one of these brow pencils. And I'm using White Lies by Makeup Geek. It's just a white matte eyeshadow. And I'm going to just place this under or on my brow bone. So now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the spoon, turn it upside down, and then you're going to grab your lashes between the spoon and then just kind of do this motion. It's really hard to explain, but it 
gives you the best curl ever. Those little clampy things that people use, those do not work. Well, not as good as this. And I'm using Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and it's just an eyeshadow. I don't ever use um, gel liner or actual eyeliner because I feel like it's too harsh. I always like a very soft look. And this is way easier than using gel or an eyeliner, at least for me. So now I'm going to go in with MAC Melba and the Morphe E3 brush. So now I'm going in with the Ulta Amped Lashes. This is the volume and defining. I love this mascara because it doesn't, it's not clumpy. It's very just clean looking and it keeps them nice and separated. And now for my favorite part, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And this is the one I normally use on my Cupid's bow, my tops of my eyebrows right here, and on my nose. And then this one, today, just because of the color that we used, I'm gonna go with this one right here. The one in the center is called Incandescent Light, and then this one is called Dim Lighting. these brushes and get my Cupid's bow. If you get your Cupid's bow, this is going to help make your lips appear bigger because now I'm going to go in with this shadow play with that same brush and I'm going to get right under my lip. This creates a shadow which makes your lips appear fuller. I mean, my lips for sure look poutier, for, that's for sure. So now I'm going to line my lips with Nobby. Uses in my purse, so let me go grab that. Okay, got it. So, this is the Palladio, and I think it's called Get Real. This isn't actually an actually, this is actually a lip balm, and it, but this is like the shiny one, and I absolutely love it because I'm not huge on lipstick because I don't like the way lipstick feels. Seriously, I just ran upstairs to get this and I'm out of breath. That's sad. Oh, I'm going to spray the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I always keep something nearby that I can fan myself with after so it dries because you don't want to spray this, have your face be wet, and then, you know, make a facial expression and have it set into your makeup. So now this look is complete, I will post all of the items that I used below and my next video coming up is going to be how I styled my so hair. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my page, give it a thumbs up. I'm just starting out, I need all the support from you guys. So thanks again for watching, um, hope to see you guys again soon, bye.